hey guys and welcome back thank you so much for watching thank you so much if you subscribed uh, to my channel and today I am going to be showing you how I do this hairstyle it is like a ninja bun um, kind of like a sleek ninja bun with full bangs I'm gonna show you how I do this hairstyle uh, from my hair uh, my natural hair just stretched out yeah, I really like this and I'm only gonna wear it for a day but um, I think it's a really cute hairstyle um, if you are going to an event or you're going out um, and you want something that is not too difficult to do um, and something that's pretty yeah that's pretty simple uh, but sleek at the same time this is a good um, this is a good hairstyle to do so yeah Let's get started, let's just get into that. Okay, so I've just started off by taking out the threading in my hair. So um, if you watched my last video, I had uh, I did African threading to my hair so that I could wear that under my wigs. So I'm just taking the thread out and my hair looks like this. It's pretty stretched um, because I've had it in for about two weeks now my hair is it's not that dirty but then it's not very clean either but I'm only wearing this hairstyle for like one night so it's, it's okay uh, I'm going to start by using the Revlon strengthening twisting pudding as my sort of leave-in sort of cream conditioner so taking a wide tooth comb, I'm just going to comb out each section from the ends. Trying to get some of those knots out as gently as I can. Okay. So I've gone through all my hair and just um, combed it out. So now I'm going to attempt to tie it up. I'm not using any gel for this because my hair is is not squeaky clean like I said so I'm going to use uh, that Revlon curling butter again just to kind of uh, lay my ends down as much as my um, edges down as much as I can and then I'll add some edge control to it as well I'm taking this soft bristle brush and I'm gonna use that to brush all over okay so I cut some tights and these are the bands that I'm going to use because I find that these don't snag so using them to tie up my bun. So I'm taking a piece of those tights and I'm gonna tie a loop on one end, end like this. And then what I'll do is I will feed the, that end through the loop, like so. And then I'll just move this up slowly. And that will just tighten all the hair and get it to lay as flat as possible. I think that's as neat as I'm gonna get it so now I just need to hide this fluffy bit because I'm gonna add a bit of hair extension so I need to put this in maybe two twists okay maybe maybe three twists yeah I think I'll do three twists I'm gonna leave those alone for a bit and work on my um, my perimeter to get that really nice and sleek. To do that, I am taking my Revlon Realistic um, Strengthening Curl Revive. This is just a, a leave-in spray. And also I'm taking my um, Edge Control by, Revl by Revlon as well. 
and what I'll do is it's really really oh, it's hard like it's, it's hardcore stuff so I always spray a little bit of the leave-in onto it and then I swirl my soft bristle brush in there just to gather up some product and then I just use that to sleek my hair down Now that I've done that, I'm going to take my scarf and I'm going to tie it around my hair for about 10 minutes or so just to get everything to lay really nice and flat. So here we go. So the next thing after this, once this is all done, is adding my fringe and then adding um, and then putting the hair um, around the bun. So this is the hair that I'm going to use. This is just some expression hair. This is my faux fringe. I just uh, I used some leftover bundles from my wigs to make this. All it is is a piece of net in sort of like a diamond shape, and then I stitched some um, tracks onto here. I think I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about six lines, and um, and then I just put some combs one at the top and one at the bottom okay so I think that's pretty flat I mean yeah that'll do that that'll do just fine so I'm going to put my uh, fringe on before I put my um, expression hair on so it needs to be quite high because you want to hide the bit that uh, that it joins <laughs> That it all joins up you want to make sure that's hidden when you put the the bun in so one comb there one comb here and then just kind of spread it out okay so bobby pins I need bobby pins some big ones and some small ones I'm gonna start with some big ones and I am going to just, yeah, just kind of make a bun out of this. Now, I'm just putting my, oh, I didn't talk about this bit. So, what you do is you take your hair and you put a hairband, you loop a hairband um, through the middle so that you have this to actually put it on so I'm just gonna put this on here I mean does that explain it does that explain it okay so let me do it now so you can see so this is the hairband this is the hair okay so I am putting it through and then tucking it in so that I end up with this loop here so that's how I did that okay so now I'm just gonna put this on And all you need to do is you're gonna separate this into four sections okay and I'm taking one and I'm just gonna twist it like so like very simple nothing too fancy or complicated it's just just make sure that it's as separated as you can get it at the at the roots here because it can look a bit messy if you don't so I'm just gonna twist it I'm just gonna loop this round and you want to just get it round and round and round just to make sure that you cover your natural hair um, and the point of this is to have a consistent texture because you don't want to have two different textures of hair in your bun so I'm gonna stop there and then I'm just gonna bobby pin this end I mean you already have two very different textures between this hair, this hair and this hair. And with these two sections now, 
um, I'm going to use one of them to cover up the top and I'll show you what I mean by that I'm going to use it to cover the top here like so I'm just gonna spread the hair out to cover the top like that and then I'm gonna pin it down Okay, this is the last one. So yeah, that is it. That's how I do sort of this ninja bun and full bangs look. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and bye.